To control the robot, the left stick, when we move it up and down, will tilt the camera up and down. And then to drive the robot, the right stick, when we move it forward, the robot moves forward. When we move it back, it drives backwards. And then, of course, left and right turn. Once you're done with your inspection and you wish to shut down the robot, make sure that your recording has stopped, either by pressing the button on top and ensuring that the light is solid blue, or using the switch on your remote. You can then flip the switch on the back of the robot down to turn it off. The remote control can be turned off by just pushing the power switch down. And then the monitor can be turned off by holding the power switch for about two seconds until it goes black, then let go. Be sure to fold the antennas back into the down position so they don't get damaged. And remove the battery from your robot. This is done by pushing up on the latch on the back of the battery and pulling it to the rear. Once you're ready to remove the SD card from your camera to view your photos and videos, make sure the robot is off and once again remove the plug from the back of the camera and you're going to push in on the SD card so that it will unlatch and spring backwards. We hear it click and stick out slightly. Then we can grab the SD card Pull it out. To add. With the DeWalt battery version of the GPK, the only battery for the robot we need to charge is the DeWalt drill battery. It comes with the DeWalt charger and we simply slide it into place the same as on the robot and it will begin to blink red to indicate that it is charging. The remote control itself uses replaceable AA batteries in the back. But the monitor needs to be charged. And once the charger is plugged into the wall, we simply insert the barrel plug into the side of the screen and the light will go red to indicate that it is charging. Once it is done charging, this light will turn off.